Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter on Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show, bringing the best press release out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them. Maybe find your next great small cap investments Monday, April the 23rd. I've got some great press release for you, but before that, I want to say hello to Sonomax Technologies, our sponsor of the month on Agoracom TV and the front page of Agoracom. Sonomax trades on the stock symbol. SHH on the TSX Venture Exchange. Why Sonomax? This company is the best hearing technology company on the planet. Now, don't take my word for it because we are horribly conflicted to assume that because they are responsible for Gorkom. But take a look at the company, some of the company's clients Coca Cola, BHP Billiton, uh, Ministry of Defense United Kingdom, Rio Tinto, Hess. You name it, some of the biggest well-known companies in the world are using Sonomac, and they just signed an OEM agreement with Alltech Lansing last week. Go take a look at Sonomax. we got some time on Agoracom SHH. Now, getting to the news of the day. First up, Seafield Resources, TSX Venture Exchange, SFF, that's SFF, announced a preliminary economic assessment uh, for its Miraflores deposit in Colombia, indicating an uh, internal rate return of 50%. And about 709,000 ounces of recovered gold. Uh, here are the highlights. I like this news. Open pit mine life of eight years, underground mine life of 10 years, and full process production life 14 years. Average annual gold production, 71,000 ounces. Doesn't sound like a big number, but multiply that by 1650 and see where you get to. Uh, that, uh, that average annual gold production is going to be in the first eight years. Produce from open pit and underground mining. 114,000 plus ounces total uh, from processing of low grade stockpile after year eight until end of mine. Average cash operating costs, very important, $524 US during the first eight years of production when 82% of the gold is produced. So take 1650, subtract out 524, and you're going to get the margin, multiply that by 71,000 ounces a year, and you got some pretty nice numbers coming in uh, for the company. The, the Miraflores deposit currently has a 43101 compliant measured and indicated resource, just over 1.9 million ounces of gold. They closed yesterday, sorry, on Friday at 15 cents, 35 on the high, one half cents on the low for the year. So you've got some very happy shareholders there. Nightingale Informatics, finally back in Agoracom TV. We haven't had them here in a while, but I love this company. They're in the electronic medical records business. Imagine that. You go to the doctor now, everything's on paper, handwritten, very hard to get to, and extremely hard to transfer between offices. Faxes, very slow, very laborious. Uh, I think they're going to change the game here. NGH, the stock symbol. They announced a 2.15 million uh, electro, uh, electronic medical records deal uh, with the Association of Ontario Health Centers. Uh, this service agreement follows uh, the software deployment contract award to Nightingale back in December 2011 by the Association of Ontario Health Centers. Uh, this is one of the fastest growing healthcare service and software companies in North America. They're recognized as an industry leader in web-based clinical uh, clinician and community-based electronic medical records. You know this is going to be a big business. Sooner or later, they've got a market cap right now of $24 million. Close on Friday, $0.31, cents, $0.35 high, $0.21 cents of the low. So pretty tight trading range. Uh, for me, this has got to be one to watch for the next five years and beyond. Uh, the, uh, Dacia Strategic Metals, TSX Venture, DSM, and for our friends in the U.S., DCHAF, they have realized $5.1 million on a sale of 2.9 tons of lutetium oxide. It sold 2,900 kilograms of uh, lutetium from its inventory held at its, uh, in Jurong, Singapore at a price of $1,750 uh, per kilo. Now, they realized the pre-tax gain of $4.1 million because the cost on that uh, was uh, significantly cheaper, as you can imagine. So they made some great money. I mean, that's a great $4.1 million gain for the company. Uh, the company says they're in a unique position of holding a commercial stockpile of physical rare elements. And they do, because I've had a look at them, and I love their market valuation that these numbers, I don't have any interest in the company right now, I don't have any, or any holdings, but it's one to look at. Close on Friday, 41 cents, 38 is their low, $1.20 is their high, so they're right near the bottom of their 52-week trading range, uh, might present some good value for you. And finally, uh, Wolf Mining Corp, TSX Venture, WF, never heard of them before. 
I'm glad I'm hearing about them now. I'm glad you're hearing about them. Uh, OTCQXWFEMF, and for our friends in Frankfurt, uh, 0Z4 or OZ4. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, 0Z4. They're reporting net present value $400 million uh, with 46% internal rate of return on their Sangdong fe uh, feasibility. Uh, There's a 43101 compliant feasibility study on their 100% owned Sangdong mining project located in South Korea. Mind you, some negative news out of there this morning. You got North Korea threatening to attack South Korea. Probably not going to happen. Uh, and it's always North Korea saber rattling, but you know that's going to cause some weakness on assets in the in, in the area. Nonetheless, this feasibility study is for the long term. Brian Wesson, CEO and President, had a, a great quote. Here's an excerpt: The feasibility start study marks a significant milestone in the development of the Sangdong Tuxen project. And uh, as a result, we're finalizing, uh, it's going to help us finalize the funding for the entire project moving towards production in 2013. That was the most important thing I got out of this, moving to production 2013. Uh, some other highlights, break even, 2.2 years. Initial capital cost is going to be about $151 million. Right now, they've got probable, uh, sorry, probable tungsten reserves, 13.3 million tons. Uh, the Sandong Tungsten Molybdenum Mine, the company says, historically one of the largest tungsten mines in the world. Closed on Friday, 30 cents, uh, 17 cents on the low, 40 and a half on the high. So again, a pretty tight trading range, and they're doing pretty well in the upper end of the mid-range of their 52-week. That's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity. Uh, <coughs> four great press releases for you. I also want to take this opportunity to wish all Georges a happy St. George's Day today, including me, but to all my friends, all my cousins. Uh, my son, my father-in-law, everybody. Uh, if you look for more great small cap news and you're watching this on Globe Investor, look below me or the left of me to see the resource companies we've covered over the past few days. Otherwise, if you're not already there, get to the front page of Agoracom, watch the show on a daily basis, take a look at the headlines to my right, and get into our marketplace to discover your next great small cap stock. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.